Yes. Yeah. Okay. My name is Brother Kel. I'm an immigrant, but I'm legal here. Uh, I uh, come from Russia with love. Amen. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I grew up in a Christian family. I became a Christian when I was about 18 years old. And I wanted to, you know, serve the Lord with all my heart. Wanted to do anything I could. And I was really interested in evangelism. So was, uh, I was online. I was looking at all these people that were... Uh, they weren't just, you know, just passing out tracks, doing this. They were witnessing. They were out there on the street. And then one day, I was online, and I saw this Mexican guy. He was uh, uh, walking through Venice Beach with a bullhorn and some guys over there. It was Reuben. And uh, he was preaching about Jesus Christ. And it was something, it seemed like something out of the Bible. All these demonic people would be crawling out of... Uh, coming out the windows or calling at us somewhere and saying, you know, shut up. And it was just, uh, uh, it was really interesting. And I saw that and I was like, wow, that's like almost just like in the Bible. What you see people, when you start preaching God's word, they just start manifesting and saying all these things and going crazy. And I said, wow, this is uh, really interesting. And Reuben was out there with this, uh, this is pretty, I guess, pretty old video. Reuben with a sandwich board and all the sins and all the little illustrations on there. He just walking, preaching through the whole thing. So I, that really intrigued me. That was really interesting for me. I was like, wow, maybe, maybe one day I can do something like that. I don't know if that's kind of radical. I don't know if I'm ready for that. And then I was also on YouTube and I saw this crazy guy preaching in the middle of campus. And it was Brother Jed. He was, I think he was standing or sitting in the chair and there were crowds of people around him listening to him and I was like wow this is interesting just some stranger guy walks on campus like he owns the place and all these students come out and hear him and I was like wow I gotta meet this guy one day and about five years ago brother Jed was in Oregon and I was like I finally gotta make, uh, make this and see him and meet him for the first time and so five years ago I went out to the University of Oregon I watched a lot of preaching videos I read the Bible, so I was like a pro on evangelism. And so, uh, you know, I knew all the moves, I knew all the lines, I knew all the Bible verses. And so I met Brother Jed, and he called me up to preach, and I preached for like two minutes, and everybody left. <laughs> and I was like, well, this is not the way I expected. Yeah. Uh, but the main thing I knew is that God had called me to preach. And uh, that's the main thing. Bible says, go into all the world and preach the gospel. Oh, amen. Bible says, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? And uh, that's what I did. I knew I didn't know everything, but uh, God will teach you. And you have to be faithful. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. not always going to be easy. And, uh, you know, most people, I think they just wait until they know everything. Or they, you know, oh, well, I got to know everything about evolution. I got to know everything about this. The main thing, if you have a testimony, that's the greatest thing you have. And nobody can say anything yes. against that. If you don't have anything to say, just say what God has done in your life. And nobody can say anything against that. So, God bless you.